Mr. Speaker, last week TD became the second major Canadian bank to quit using the independent banking ombudsman, and we've heard nothing from this government. The ombudsman is there to stand up for the everyday consumer against the big banks. It protects families when banks make errors in dealing with their accounts. Mr. Speaker, if this government isn't standing up for everyday consumers, then who is? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And currently, all banks are required to have consumer complaints procedures in place and have a third-party dispute handling body. However, there is a variation in procedures used, and this is a concern for us and consumers. To better protect consumers, we are forcing banks to belong to government-approved independent third-party bodies. We're establishing uniform regulatory standards for internal complaints procedures. We're giving the Financial Consumer Agency of Canada the authority to monitor and enforce compliance. And we've passed legislation for this and are now finalizing regulations. Unfortunately, the NDP voted against all of that. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, there's a lot of talk there, but not much of an answer, especially for families who are tired of being treated unfairly by the big banks. By doing nothing, this government is giving the banks a get-out-of-jail-free card on consumer protection. Overseas, our finance minister sings the virtues of Canada's strong banking regulations while he lets them slide here at home. Mr. Speaker, why won't this government stand up for Canadian families instead of giving the big banks a free pass?